I'm here on Sanibel Island and today I'm going to talk about how you can go on vacation without spending a ton of money. Let's go! Welcome to Becky's Homestead. This is so nice. If you want a nice vacation, that's kind of nature -y. you can ride bicycles, get exercise, nice little places to eat and go to the ocean. Come to Sanibel Island. I wanted to plan a vacation for Sanibel Island, but you know, it's a little pricey down there to get a condo on the beach. So I made arrangements with other family members so we could go in on it and split the cost of the condo to make it more affordable. Makes it really inexpensive, but you get a really nice kind of nature-y vacation so you don't spend a lot of money. And then once I'm there, I try to find activities that don't cost a lot of money like these. I love birds. So one enjoyable thing is to walk along the beach and look at the little beach birds picking along the edge. It's so adorable. There's little ones and there's big ones. He's so cute. He doesn't want the water to touch. Oh, he does go in there. <laughs> I noticed some of them, I noticed some of them go in the water and they let their legs get wet. Look at that little one. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, he took off. I noticed some of them don't like the water to touch their legs and some of them don't. Sanibel Island is a unique little island and they have bike trails set up all over the island, but it's not like most bike trails. A lot of cities will say they're bike friendly and have bike trails. And what they mean by that is they give you two feet on the shoulder of the road. So you're just, you're there right in the traffic. Sanibel Island does it differently. They did it the right way. It's the road. Then there's a grass median and then there's a bike trail. So you're no, you know, you're near the traffic, but you're not even close to the traffic when you're riding your bicycles. It is just so enjoyable and so much fun to ride the bikes around the island. Try to get a coconut. They trim the trees. <laughs> they trim the trees. I'm going to get a coconut. I got two coconuts. Tanya's is included in the price of the condo, so it doesn't cost us any extra money, and it's really good exercise. So you can be very conservative on a vacation if you plan it right. You can have a blast. You can save money, you know, split meals, ride the bicycles. You just have to pay the weekly fee to get the bike for the whole week, which saves you money. And then visit little local... Um, you know, little local attractions. There's a lot you can do on vacation to be economical and save money. Another thing when we go on vacation that I'm like the queen of, and when I buy little souvenirs, I always buy something that I'm going to use in the cabin. And I don't know, I like my kitchen stuff. So, you know, I'll find like very unique little pots and pans to use or, you know, pots and pans to use when I go camping, all kinds of fun stuff. And it's so weird because, you know, when I'm, when we're on vacation and I buy it, everybody's kind of like, oh, like that's a weird souvenir. But later, of course, they'll forget about it. And like two weeks later, three weeks later, they'll be like, oh, that's like, that's a nice little pot. Where'd you get that? <laughs> and I'll be like, I got it when we were on vacation <laughs> here, there, wherever we go. And it's just so funny that, you know, everybody notices when I have a nice little new pot or something. But at the time, they think it's a weird souvenir. 